welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another DIY video. Today we are going to be DIYing this Killstar jacket. I've been doing a lot of Killstar DIYs recently, not intentionally, just because I spend way too long surfing their website and then decide that I don't want to buy it and I actually want to make it. So this jacket on Killstar retails for about £130 pound, and I managed to recreate it for 30 I want to say, if not less. The jacket itself cost me £10. I already had all the other stuff. If you were to buy it all, it would be about £30 to make. Um, so this is my jacket. We'll obviously try it on and see what it looks like. Um, so let's get into the DIY. So guys, here's what you're going to need for this DIY. Obviously a leather jacket. This one I purchased off of Depop, but it is originally from Atmosphere, which is Primark. Um, any kind of leather jacket will do. I'm using faux leather. You can use real leather whichever works best. Also going to need some paint. I mixed up my own today using this fabric medium and this acrylic paint. I did this same concoction when I did my other leather jacket DIYs and it worked out so well that I decided that I'd repeat it because it's held up really really well. You can also purchase leather paint if you want to. It's kind of expensive but I just want to stick with this. It's a lot cheaper for this and then just to buy acrylic paint. This will basically turn any paint into fabric and mine uses a one to one ratio. Also, I want to mix your paint in. I'm using this little Tupperware pot from Ikea. It comes in a really big set. We don't use things this small, so this will get used for paint. And I want to have a lid on it as well, so I can seal it in case this takes more than a day to complete. Which it probably will, considering it is half eight at night right now when I'm starting this. So we're going to need that. Also, you're going to want some brushes. These are just regular brushes. They were three quid from the works. These are actually Andrews, and I'm going to have to buy some more after this, but... It's fine. We're also going to want some masking tape. You can also use a pen, a marker, a chalk pen, anything to mark out your lines. For now, I'm going to use masking tape, but I think I might end up switching over to a pen to mark out my lines, if I'm honest. Also, you might want a tape measure or something to measure with. I do have one. I can't find it right now. Uh, and then I think that's all we're going to need, but you also might want black paint or anything to like, clean up with. Also a good idea, but I think we're all good. Um, this, this is actually the first time that I am doing this project, so we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But in my experience, it should go okay, so fingers crossed. I want to start out by mixing up my mixture. I am going to use the end of this old paintbrush to do that with. So the whole of this tube, or at least the whole of what's remaining in this tube. And then I'm also going to use this other tube as well and then add an equal ratio of our fabric medium. Only issue is it's exactly the same colour, it's going to be so hard to tell what's what. I think that should be enough, so let's stir that together. So the consistency of the paint should be really, really thin. Well done at the beginning, you want an iron to heat set. Mine doesn't require heat setting, it depends on which one you purchase. This is our paint mix, I'm going to put a lid on this move it out of the way and then also wipe down my side to make sure there's no cross contamination. I am using a three quarter inch brush, an eight brush and a one brush. No idea what that means. If you know, I guess you know at the end of the day. So I, because I'm doing the Killstar one, I'm going to kind of reference that. Obviously mine has bits on it, like it has this quilting that's going to get a bit, a bit in the way. So we're going to have to work around that. Um, but I obviously want to start on just one side, so I'm going to remove my lapel pins. Alright, let me get out my reference image. I'm going to be honest guys, I would love to zoom you out more, but if I do, you're just going to see my messy floor. And it's not really going to add much to what you need to look at, so I'm going to see if it gets back in. I'm sorry because I know you guys would rather see the whole thing, but unfortunately it's just not the correct setup right now. Hopefully in the future we can get there, but for now, this is what you get. This lapel is the one with the stripe going up it, so I'm not going to do anything on this one. But this one does have something coming down here, by the look of it. So I'm going to measure out the smallest point. So I'm going to be safe and I'm going to go with a measurement of two inches because I think that'll be nice. 
and I'm going to work off of the assumption that this line is straight or it's going to be our straight line. Some white tailor's chalk and two inch measurements. Let's do this. Okay, so in the original, let me just have an oops a little bit. In the original, they don't go over this sort of bottom part, so I'm not going to do that either. So let's mess with it. Okay, so this is the first line done. This literally, literally took me an hour to do. Um, so I'm gonna go and sleep because it's literally like already half nine. Um, this is gonna take me a few days. So I will see you back here um, in a few days for the next one. I'm gonna go wash out my brushes and whack the lid on this. All right, so this is now day two. This has had about four coats of paint and I think it's nearly about ready. I've just noticed the point where I've touched it. Oh no, that's fine, that's just, that's good, that's good for that. So it's had about four coats of paint um, and I think it's okay with how it is. So now we need to get on to doing the back. Now I was gonna say, okay, let's find the center back and blah, 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 but turns out that there's a line right down the middle of the centre back because it's not be too hard to find it. This ended up being more than I wanted it to be. I ended up making it about two and whatever that is, two and three lines wide which is just about six centimetres. So we're going to do it that measurement on the back here but to do that I'm just going to find the middle. I'm going to end up using the back of this now a little bit easier so let's just go for three centimeters in the middle all i can say if you're undertaking this project is patience just patience
a little bit of black fabric paint just to deal with the mess that I have made. <laughs> the original picture really quick so I can figure out how to do this. So on the original it starts about where the bottom is normally then it goes up in a straight line so I'm gonna try and do that fingers crossed with my tape measure. I'm gonna use this eyeboard line as our mark to go off of. And I'm not sure if this is anecdotal evidence, but I found it a lot easier to do the lines using masking tape. This obviously does work, it does take a lot longer and you're really trying to get smooth edges, but I found it easier to do it this way. and all the black bits that need to be on there and now we just need to heat set it. So I've got my iron, I'm just gonna pop open and I've also got this old bit of backdrop that I no longer use because I had to cut out for a previous DIY and I'm gonna use this to avoid direct contact with my jacket. To be fair, we have already kind of heat set it by using the um, old hair dryer to dry out the paint just an extra bit I reckon. guys I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did sure to hit a big thumbs up and also if you want to become part of the channel you can become a member using the link down below it starts from as little as 99p a month and you get a bunch of cool perks um speaking of members a huge thank you to Dryer Shy for supporting the channel uh and that was it from me guys stay safe stay dark and I'll see you in the next one bye